So now that we've got our lists built, remember that we've already built the seven days of the week and the seven foods, and I don't want those visible on the screen. I want to change this list, uh, this, this song here, this repetition, so that it changes and uses day and food based on slots in that list. And as you look at this list of things, this, this collection of things I can do with lists, you'll notice that one of the things that I can do from a list is to grab a particular item out of the list, right? And so, for example, just to get started here, if I wanted to do what I was doing before, I could say the food is item one from the list of foods, and the day is item one from the days of the week, and this doesn't completely fix the problem, but now I've got this idea of today is Monday, today is Monday, right? I'm grabbing Monday as string beans and all of that. And now we sing the song over because I still have, have or I'm grabbing day of the week. I still only grabbed this once. Well, the idea would be I want to move this in the loop, right? I want to change this. Every time this loop runs, I want to grab a different day and a different food. But the problem is that I can only grab items by one of three ways, at least it appears that way at first. From the drop down, I can grab item number one, I can draw, grab the last item, or I can grab a random. And I don't want to sing the song in a random order, right? I want to sing it straight through. So the idea is, what I really want to do is the first time this song, this loop runs, I want to grab item one. And the second time this song runs, I want to grab item two, and then item three, and then so on. And so. I want to have a variable that keeps track of what item am I supposed to grab. And so, in fact, let's do that, right? right? We want to create a variable. I'm going to call this slot number. Right? I'm going to leave slot number visible on the screen temporarily. When the program starts, I want to start by setting slot number to 1. Right? I want to first start with slot number one. And so when I come into this loop, I want to set the day to not necessarily hard coded to, to number one, but to whatever the slot number is. So I want to grab item one from days of the week and item one from the list of food. And I want to sing about Monday and green beans. And then right here, before I come back around and do it again, I want to make sure that the next time I come around, slot number changes. And so at the very bottom of all of this, I'm going to say change slot number by one. And so watch what happens now. Right. I'm going to move this slot number up so that, that it's kind of out of the way and you can see it. Notice what happens. When we run this, we have slot number one. We sing today is Monday, today is Monday. Monday is string beans. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. And now we got to the very bottom of this, and we changed the slot number by one. We went to slot number two. And we've actually updated the day and the food to be Tuesday and spaghetti. So Tuesday's spaghetti, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. And we go to slot number three. Today is Wednesday. And now we have a much smaller program. We don't have to have that long list of repetition. If I had a spelling error that I want to fix, I don't have to fix it in seven different places. I only have to fix it once inside of the loop, and it changes for every single loop, every single iteration of the loop. And so now we're very fortunate. Using lists, we've got a really nice way to sing the whole song all the way through to Fresh Fish. Saturday's chicken, and in just a minute we'll see Sunday is ice cream. So there you have it. By using this idea of a data list, we're able to see all of the song get sung with very minimal repetition on our part. All right, so the video is song is over. I'm going to end this video and we'll go on to another topic. In the next video, we'd like to look at actually fixing a small thing in